So I've had the iPhone 13 mini for about a week now and I have some initial thoughts for you guys. So let's talk. Now battery life. It's okay, it met expectations, but it didn't impress me. So throughout the past week, it's averaged about 40% battery remaining at the end of each day. That included a day with seven hours of usage, which it hit 29%, but again, overall, most days it ended around 40% for me. While it'll clearly not be able to compete with the others in the lineup, it is much better than my two-year-old iPhone 11, which usually needed to be charged at around two or three in the afternoon. Now, I do understand the fact that batteries degrade over time and my iPhone 11's battery is two years old at this point in time. So we're probably actually seeing more degradation in that battery than we are seeing just overall better efficiency and a better battery in this phone itself. However, that doesn't take away from the fact that it's still nice to see the battery life jump. So a lot of you guys are probably gonna be in a scenario where you have an iPhone 11, it's two years old and you're considering upgrading to a 13 mini, especially with a lot of the good deals that are going on right now. And so seeing that battery life jump back up, because again, you have a brand new battery and it hasn't degraded, it's really nice to see here. Now the size itself is something that I was super, super excited about when I first ordered this phone. I actually went over to like my local Best Buy. I tested out the 12 mini before I bought the phone and that size felt so nice in my hand. However, I will say that using this phone day to day without a case was not what I expected at all upon receiving the 13 mini. The back of this phone is glass and while it looks super nice, it's also very slick. Not to mention, it's also a fingerprint magnet. This is the first phone or tablet I've used that I've loved the design so much that I didn't want to have to use a case. Unfortunately, because the back of this phone is so slick, it's not something I would feel comfortable using without a case myself or recommending one of you guys to use without a case either. So I ended up grabbing this blue MagSafe case from Smartish. Not sponsored by the way. And while the 13 mini has this case on it, it's by far my favorite phone I've used since the iPhone 5S. I personally love the overall size and design of this phone, although I wouldn't mind it being a bit thicker if it improved my battery life even more. Typing on it, which is something I was super concerned about before I bought it, feels just about as good as on the iPhone 11, and my initial impressions of using this phone overall feels great too. It's probably overall the best size phone I could use personally myself. Now, if you watched my video on why I bought this phone in the first place, you know the camera system was one of the biggest reasons why I picked up this phone. And in particular for the supposed improved low light performance, mainly because I hope to use this phone as a B cam moving forward. And I need to test it more for my full review, but what I'm gonna do is drop a link in the comments to a community poll that I'm going to post once this video goes live. What I need you to do is go to that post and vote on which footage you think is the iPhone 13 minis, and then comment which footage you think is the SL2s, the 11s, and the A6600s. In a week from now, I'm gonna drop a follow-up post giving you guys the answer of which camera was which, but I'm really curious to see what you guys say. And I'm not gonna ruin it for you guys right here, but I will say is that I am pretty impressed with the upgrade from the 11 to the 13 mini. Using this as a B cam, I think will be pretty solid overall, at least for like what I plan on using this camera for. So let me know what you guys would like specifically to see in the full review down in the comments below. I will be leaving a link to the full review when it's officially released right here underneath what it should be like my why, my reason why I actually bought the iPhone 13 mini in the first place. You can actually compare all these videos together to see what my thoughts are as I go through this entire process. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment, questions, all that kind of good stuff down in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys later.